Yo, did you see the ending of that Black Widow movie? I am so hyped for whatever show comes next on Disney Plus, but we're not going to dive into spoilers just yet. The first half, we're just going to do a brief review, no spoilers, and then I'll warn you guys when we start diving into spoilers. I'm Mickey Indigo. I'm Manal. And you already know, this is the <laughs> Indigo family. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go ahead and dive into it. What do you think about the movie? I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I, I loved it. I thought it was a pretty decent movie. It is. It is. Um, to be honest, though, I do feel like it came out at the wrong time. I feel like it probably should have came out around the time that, like, after winter, uh, not winter, after Civil War. I don't think so. The thing that I liked is finally. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to spoil it. I shouldn't say you can, that. You can say it in an overview without <laughs> Yeah, spoiling. I think so. Um, it's just, uh, you know how we watched, um, what is it? Um, Wonder Woman? Yeah. With all that action. Finally, Marvel have a female character that's oh, more action. Okay, okay. So, I love that. So, so you're saying that Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, not Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel's not out, but Captain Marvel didn't do it for you? No, no, no. She uh, di didn't do it. She did not <laughs> do it. She didn't Nothing do against it. you, Brie Larson. I think Brie Larson, you're actually a pretty guy. I love you and Scott Pilgrim, too. Um, but, Scarlet. but. Scarlet did kill it, man. I'm not going to lie. She yes. had that 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 strength. You She's know what good. I mean? Like, but although it is a little jarring, like when you're so used to Marvel, like people flying in the sky and doing all these crazy things, like superhuman powers, you do sometimes look at the action of, of Scarlet Widow. I, even though they're cool, you're like, I don't know, man. Like, but I don't know. It's just because I always, with the Avengers as group, I always didn't see her much mm, that's now true. with her she movie had alone. her time to shine yeah, in this literally. movie and you know what honestly all the characters were great i literally can't complain about anyone um uh, you know so we got black widow right mm -hmm. and then we got yelena which is her sister is it elena or yelena is it elena or yelena, yelena i think elena i don't know maybe is, a so russian is the Y yelena. silent yeah um, and then we got Iron Maiden, which is the mom. Yes. Um, she was actually pretty awesome. She is. She she subverted my expectations pretty well. Yeah. Um, and then um, what was his name? The Alexi. Dad. That's the Alexi, surprise. the 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 Captain America, you know, wannabe guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. I I I kind of I was surprised. I've never thought he would be. You know, because with the... The actor from Stranger Things, I yes, know, right? Yes, He definitely changed the character. Yeah. He was totally No, he was personal. phenomenal, man. His accent, he never broke his accent, that I noticed, at least. No, he never. Um, man, the guy was on point, man. I, like, if I had never seen him before, I would think he's, like, a legit Russian. Like, I didn't know him. <laughs> literally. She, she, we started watching the movie, and she was like, I was like, yo, look who that is. And she's like, that's not him. That's not from Stranger. That's and not him. All what I'm gonna say: the beard <laughs> changes a lot of things. The beard changes a lot of things. I am telling. You even have a beard in the beginning, but we're not jumping into spoilers. Yeah, we're not jumping into spoilers. But without diving into spoilers, I do have to say the beginning was good. I thought the way they set it up subverted expectations right away. I was like, whoa. Um, and then uh, I would say probably the middle. The middle was good. I'm not going to lie. It did get a little bit slow in the middle for me personally. Are you sure? Do, do you think? It <laughs> <laughs> or you fall asleep. <laughs> hey, well, see, me falling asleep is an indicator that it's losing my interest. No, no, no. no. I'm telling you. No. I'm telling you. That's old man Mickey logic for you now. But I end up watching everything. But I how know. about you? You 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 enjoyed it from the beginning, the middle, and I the did. end. I did. I did. Okay. It was it was a good story. So, so we're a little bit indifferent. I don't know. I like my movies. I like to take it slower, like at the beginning, so that for me to understand where where they're going. The end, I don't care. But like, I don't like when they rush it and they start killing. Like, uh, what's his name? The movie that we watched. What? Um, the uh, the one falling from the buildings. Tomorrow War. Oh yeah, that was yeah. like all tomorrow action, war. action, 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 action. You know what I was? Yeah, and we did a review on Tomorrow War. If you yes, guys want to check it out, um, no, I know what you mean. Uh, tomorrow War had a lot of senseless action. Yeah, like look, if this wasn't even a Marvel movie, this this would rise above like the top. 
you know, top of the movies of the year. I think it is one of the, probably the best sure. movies of the year. Yeah. Um, not the best in my opinion, but it, it's definitely one, uh, up there. If it wasn't a Marvel movie, we'd be like, yo, this movie was amazing. The fact that it's a Marvel movie and you got to put it in the categories of the other different Marvel movies. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's good. It's not one of the worst ones. I think it's better than Loki's and Wanda. She thinks it's better than the Loki's. That's me. Yeah. And the WandaVision. Yeah. Huh. I think so. I don't know, man. I do not know. Uh, I'm enjoying Loki a little bit, um, but Loki's like a, a trip. Loki's like really trippy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. WandaVision was super different, but like, I'm not going to lie. The first three episodes kind of, you know, they're they're really or slow. maybe, maybe, because this one is a movie, the other ones are more... That's true. Series, you know, so. I'm, I was I was thinking this when I was watching the movie. The movie was actually pretty crazy in the sense that it was moving so much quicker than the that, than I'm so. used to with the shows now. I think so. But that's not true either because if you look at Falcon and Winter Soldier, I still think that show was better than, you know. No, Black I'm Winter. not talking about Falcon and Winter Soldier. That one was good. Yeah. That one was good. Better than this one. That's what I'm saying. So I would say. Like, you know, it's not it's not in the top Marvel movies. I would say it's somewhere near the middle. You know what I'm saying? Where the worst is, I don't know if you even remember, like Iron Man 2, um, Thor 2. You know, uh, to me, those are among the worst. I even say the first Doctor Strange. That's probably Ooh. That might be controversial, but... Um, I remember that. I think it was one of the worst ones. Yeah. This you know what I'm saying? Better. But then when he came in Infinity War, you're Ooh. like, oh my goodness, this dude is a freaking beast. Yeah. Um, I think it's time to start jumping into spoilers. We're going a little long. Okay. So, guys, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We're about to dive into spoilers in three, two, one. But that ending for Black Widow, yo, was that a twist or what? Yeah. Are you hyped? <laughs> I'm hyped for the Hawkeye show now. It was. I wasn't it even was. Hawk. You know, I wasn't even Hawkeye hype before. Today, I'm Hawkeye hype. You know what I'm saying? They could not think of a better way to promote the hawkeye show than to put out this movie that was absolutely genius so if he's having his own show trying to train his daughter to be the new hawkeye what if he dies in the show what if he dies in the show and then the daughter takes over and it's scarlet's sister that kills him oh my god you're going too far you think so i don't know man i didn't even think about that guy yet i'm I think that's my that, that might be where they're going. You think so? That might be where they're going. Now I don't want this whole episode to be about what's potentially coming through Disney Plus, but we already know they're hinting at it. Let's talk about the spoilers of this movie. Now, in your opinion, with spoilers, what do you think was the biggest thing you took away from it? Um from the movie in general? Yeah. Or from the hint of what's going to happen. No, no, the movie. Oh. Well, it's just I've never knew what was the, the, the history of Scarlet. So that's what I learned about her a little bit. I didn't know what was behind her story. Mm -hmm. And now I know. And it was more in details, where she from, how she was raised, her family and all that. Sure, sure, so sure. this is for me. No, I thought it was pretty good. Um so I was interested in her background as well. And, you know, when Loki said in the first Avengers, there's a lot of red in your ledger. Yeah. Um, I was like, is that it? She just killed the little girl and that's the red in her ledger. But, you know, I guess while she was being, you know, mind controlled, essentially. Right. Yeah. She did kill a lot of people. It was almost like Winter Soldier. Right. It's like she was, you know, she had to do a lot of these things. Yeah. What they did with Taskmaster mm -hmm. was actually really awesome um yeah. because in the comic book he's actually a skeleton wow yeah i know you you probably didn't know that no. in the comic book the guy is a skeleton and he just copies everyone's moves in this one they made it more technological which is what marvel you know tends to usually do in these things uploads uh you know the data um and then learns the moves from there yeah. right so i thought that was pretty cool um and then towards the end you realize there's even more of an emotional blow yeah. when you realize that that was the person that she blew up so man marvel's always good when it comes to their villains and like really bringing it full circle in my opinion yeah. you know what i'm saying um the beginning was really cool 
how they subverted our expectations where like, you know, they're just normal kids mm-hmm. living life and all of a sudden they got to leave and, you know, they got to escape the country because they're spies. Yeah. Right. That was really cool. Um, and then, you know, like I said, man, the in, in the middle, it was a little slow from what I, than what I'm used to, in my opinion. Um, but at the same time, we've been watching all these shows and especially like, you know, let's say Loki, that's been pretty slow. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, man, it just wasn't uh, engaging me for you is a little different. Um, I know, you know, the, the relationship with her sister and whatnot. Yeah. You really related to that. That's true. You know, you have sisters. Yeah. You know, I have a sister, but you know, it's just not the same relationship. (laughs) You know, know uh, I I like the part where they were killing each other to death and then she said truce and they stop. Yeah. It's like our (laughs) safe word, you know? that's how that's how relationships are right? yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much like they're we're they're entering parts of this world where god about gods and space and shit this doesn't really you know what i'm mm. saying this is just for this movie and it, you know the fact that you want to know more is you know showing that they did their job very well yeah. you know what i'm saying um so in the last third they you know basically had that little reunion at first i was shocked when the mother went ahead and snitched on them but you know she even told her that she snitched and then like you know they did the whole face swap that completely threw me off it reminded me of game of thrones game of thrones yeah right <laughs> God damn it. they didn't do anything with it. oh game of thrones Ugh. we're not gonna talk about that yeah. uh but yeah no they did the whole face swap thing and the whole pheromone she wouldn't you know like she wouldn't you know what i mean um that was cool and then she you know uh, cut the the nerve in the third eye i feel like that's symbolic right like that that whole part was very symbolic oh we're controlling the world and power is done in the shadows and i feel like it's very metaphoric man like they're going heavy with the metaphors it was almost too much and and her solution was to sever the third eye i don't know man i don't know what they're trying to say but there's something there (laughs) you know what i'm saying there's definitely something there um but you know the you know when everything starts crashing widow go goes ahead she's like i'm gonna let you go you know what i'm saying that was a lot of tension Ooh. And this is what I'm talking about with Marvel. Like they're so good with the, when, when it comes to their villains and, and making it so personal. You know what I'm saying? She lets him go, and this person just can't stop ki- trying to kill her. Like they're both about to die, splat on the ground, and they. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and, and she still wants to kill her. Um. And I thought that was pretty cool, man. And uh, you know, I want to uh walk a little back where they broke the the chemical on all the widows while they were jumping black widow um that was pretty cool man and look i'm not gonna lie man i feel like cancel culture and i know i i I bring this up too much but that was symbolic of cancel culture where it's like you know we're all the same but we're beating each other up you know what i'm saying and like we need to just snap out of it you know what i mean so I mean, it's kind of like being woke, too. It's like when they have that thing in their face, then they wake up yeah, and they're exactly. like seeing right, real things, yeah, you know? Because exactly. they're being under the control. Exactly. And even the, the girl, when she was trying to control to uh, kill her, after she let her like go, it's because she was still under the control. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But when she put that thing on her face, she was able to, to know what's yep. going on and forgive her. Because even when she asked... And you thought it was a, a Russian. She was like, is he gone? Yeah. Maybe she was tired of him too. Yeah. No, he abused her. Oh, yeah. He absolutely. abused her. Scarlet may have blown her up. But he did. But this guy's done more scars than the scar yeah. on her face. Yeah. Which is so deep, man. So deep. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I thought that was great. And, you know, circling back when I, when she got her little helicarrier thing, um, I was like, this is the only connection that she has to end game. That's it. Um, but then, you know, after that with the stinger, with Val showing up. Um, and if you don't remember, Val was the person at the end of Falcon and winter soldier, uh, where she helps Walker, the bad captain America, like remember to, to be redeemed in court. Oh, okay so she's basically it looks like she's starting her own avengers but like the bad version of the avengers 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got they it. already got their Captain America. Now they got their widow. You know what I'm saying? I keep saying, where did I see her from? Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got it now. So okay. that's why I'm so excited. I'm sure this new, uh, you know, Hawkeye show is going to be phenomenal. Um, you know, one thing that really made me sad. Do you remember like in Endgame when uh, Scarlet sacrificed herself for the Hawk? For Hawkeye, yeah. Yeah. So now she's dead and she can even say the real truth about what happened. Yeah. And that's sad because Hawk didn't kill her. She throws herself yeah. to No, that's deep. That's you know? deep because you can't tell the truth when you're dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, we're, we're going on a little <laughs> long. <laughs> Manal got the giggles. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm uh, Mickey Indigo. I'm Manal. And uh, you already know that's a wrap. <laughs> Please, guys, let me know what else you'd like, uh, like us to cover. And uh, we'd love to tell you. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Your continued support will keep this show going.